So I've just received this new flasher unit for the indicators. It's a non-load sensitive unit specifically designed for LED indicators. This is the one uh, that I am replacing. It's got the, exactly the same pin pattern so I've just plugged right in there. You can see the specs on it there. Um, yeah, without that I know from experience that these will, the indicators will flash too fast. You can fix that with installing resistors in series with each indicator, but uh, they're really bulky and it's a, it's a clumsy way of doing it. Replacing the flasher is far easier. That was about 27 bucks, that flasher unit. Now I've also just gone ahead and finally installed that uh, mounting bracket underneath the seat. I've just used some stainless steel rivets. So that's on there good and solid. For the seat unit itself, I'm thinking as this is going off for painting soon, I might make a fiberglass seat pan. That'll be roughly that kind of shape and come up at the front. Now, that will allow me to either upholster it or just lay on a layer of foam using this high density foam which I've done before and it's worked quite well. It's, it's a fairly firm seat but it's, it's a lot more comfortable than you would think. So that'll give me two options to play around with while the seat's actually getting painted. I can put some nut certs into the pan and then screw it in from underneath. I'm going to go with a layer of this first. Fun and games are underway to try and get this off. It's not gone completely yet. And 
I'm just going to trim this. Voilà. There we have it. So I've roughly cut this out. I beefed up this end yesterday, putting a few extra layers in. I will do a bit more on that, but right now I just want to beef up the rest of the pan by putting on more glass. Got some um, epoxy mixed up here. I'm going to do a layer of carbon as well. That should stiffen it up really well. Okay, I've got this almost finished. Looks quite good in that carbon. Got this end thickened up nicely. And it's really quite stiff and light. What I'm going to do now is get this positioned exactly where I want it. And bolt in, I think I'm just going to do four nuts that bolt through underneath. Now I'm a little concerned when this is upholstered there's going to be some leather wrapped around here and stuck down. Um, now that's going to give it some thickness and it may push the seat forward although it will lift it up at the same time so it may not move forward that much but I just need to allow an, enough room here for it to do that and what I'll do is I'll, I'll install the holes as if there's nothing under there and then I'll slot them slightly if I need to to get this to sit up that way a bit. I'm not going to do the high density foam seat on this it wouldn't really make sense because you can still see all this. Uh, I suppose you could paint it but if I'm going to do the foam seat it probably would be just as easy to attach it on here either with velcro or glue it on. But I think I'm going to go straight for the upholstery. It will look nicer.
there it is. The pan's all finished. I ground down those cert nuts a little bit. Uh, I don't want these to stick up too much, otherwise you'll feel them. There'll be some pretty high density foam on here initially and a, some cushioning foam on top of that. Those bolts will sit lower also once there's uh, leather underneath here. Um, I've used wide flange bolts there, so that's all looking pretty good. Now I will get this painted before I send it to the upholsterer. It's a good idea to have the whole seat to, so he knows what he's looking at.